Yo, what is everyone, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to censor audio in Final Cut Pro 10. So, for example, if someone says or and you need to censor your audio because your channel is family friendly, or maybe someone says it's sort of like confidential information, like uh, revealed your phone number or your address by accident, and you want to bleep that out um, in your video, you can go ahead and do that right in Final Cut. So you can censor any type of audio, whether it's a swear word, confidential information, or you know a name of somebody. You can swear any type of you know audio or anything in Final Cut Pro, and it only takes like four or five minutes. It's a really easy and simple effect. So I'm going to do right here is go over, um, I already have it pre-marked. Now don't worry, also I didn't actually say a swear word um, in the intro, but don't worry, you're not going to hear any uh, swear words uncensored, so you don't have to worry about that. I'm not going to you know, play any uh, swear words uncensored, so just do, uh, just a disclaimer, don't worry, you're not going to hear any swear words actually in this video, so if that bothers you, don't worry, I'm not going to actually you know, have any swear words play without it being censored. But what you're going to do right here is you're basically going to find where the swear word is. Uh, swear word is so don't just eyeball where the swear word is zoom in right here and you know play until you find the swear word and then what you want to do is you want to go frame by frame with the right and left arrow keys until you hear the first and last letter so you can see right here just go frame by frame and then as you can see right here there we go there is the first letter so just keep playing it frame by frame until you basically hear the word or hear the, the last letter of the word right there so you can see right here okay I've already you know pre-made pre-marked it right here but this is where the audio is or where the swear word is or the confidential information or the name of somebody that you accidentally said here it is right here so just isolate it right here so what you want to do is you want to place a marker at the beginning and a marker at the end all you want to do is press M on your keyboard to create a marker so you first want to isolate where that swear word um, is right there now what you want to do is you want to head over here to the sound effects icon now there are a couple ways to do this so I'm going to just um, go over you know, uh, both methods um, right here so I'm gonna do right here is I'm gonna go ahead and just type in right here um, alarm clock right here an alarm clock um, sound effect now I think you can just choose any sound effect um, that you want but I'll just use um, alarm clock you just need a piece of audio for the effect um, to use basically so what I'm gonna do right here is I'm gonna go ahead and basically just trim the sound effect um, right there so as you can see right there there we go it's basically you've isolated the swear word now you have a sound effect trimmed under where the swear word um, is right or whatever you know what uh, whatever you want to um, censor out right there so you just trim to the start and the end um, right here now what you want to do is head over to the effects panel right here scroll down until you find audio right here and then type in test oscillator um, right here so you see right here there we go there is the effect right here test oscillator and you'll see the audio all of a sudden basically just get like equal out right there as you can see right there there's no you know peak or anything like that it's just one long um, audio you know thing right there so what you want to do next is now you uh, it, it almost works but you can still hear um, the swear word um, right there so what you want to do is you want to go to the uh, marker right here press R to use the range selection tool and now just select this section right here use the range selection tool and then go right there press A for the like, like select tool right there and then there you go as you can see um, right there now as you can see right here um, what you want to do is you can see a little bit of the audio is still showing so I'll go ahead and zoom in um, a little right here you want to take the range selection tool and basically you can feel it kind of just um, snap into place um, right there so there you go it snaps into place right there so take this and then just snap it um, right there so obviously you know you can you uh, readjust it right there but there you go as you can see right there now it's snapped into place and of course you know you can adjust it you know even more uh, if you want but basically what I'm doing is I'm avoiding any type of fade I don't want to hear any part of the word because you know you might get you know uh, demonetized or whatever you want that word to be completely bleeped out um, right there now what you want to do right here is now you want to start uh, adjusting the fade um, right here so let's go ahead you know and fade it in right here so usually like 0 0.01 right here 
So let's fade this in right here to 0.01. So 0.01, or you can go to you know 0.02, but I would say 0.01 um, looks pretty good right there. Now you can go ahead and adjust it, so on and so forth. But basically, all I'm trying to get across is you, know, uh, you want to uh, fade the audio. You need to have a fade in between the sound effect right there, so you can fade it however you want. Um, basically, the idea is you need to fade it, or else you're gonna get that uh, clicking or popping sound. So you want to make sure um, the audio is uh, uh, faded right there just to avoid um, any 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 um, clipping right there you can go ahead and just do that right there so basically right here you just want to add this test um, oscillator um, effect uh, oh, this test oscillator effect right there now what you can also do too is I can go ahead and just give you an example right here um, what you can also do right here is you can actually go ahead and click B um, command bleed to uh, command B to blade so command B blade the audio right here well I guess I'll just put a marker um, right here so what you want to do is you want to cut the audio right there add the test oscillator effect um, right there and then what you're just gonna do right here I'll show I'll zoom in uh, just a little bit right there, but you can also go right here and you also want to make sure that in between the cut uh, You want to make sure the audio is uh, faded uh, Right there, so let's just fade the audio right there. So all I'm doing right here is I'm just basically just fading the audio um, Right here you can do you know, more or less uh, I'm just you know do kind of extreme example But all I'm trying to get across is if you're doing any kind of cut or anything like this you want to make sure you can uh, you want to make sure to fade so you don't get any clipping or popping uh, so that's basically all you're doing with is you're just isolating the audio and you're adding either the test oscillator effect onto the audio or you're adding it to a sound effect right here so you can see right here test oscillator right there and that's the effect you need to use because that, that's where it creates that long or that kind of beep uh, sound effect to censor um, the audio so what if you want to also censor um, the video? So I'm going to do right here, I'm going to go ahead and just disable this right here. Now this is just a photo, but I just want to show you what the name of the effect is called. So you just want to do, do add an adjustment layer um, on top of the video. For this instance, it's just a photo um, right here. So let's go over, and what you want to just type in is sensor right here. So take the sensor effect, apply it onto the adjustment layer, and voila, you can censor the video to um, right there so as you can see right here you could basically um, just censor the videos you know if someone's swearing you also want to have that like a, a sensor effect on the person uh, it's just basically this uh, sensor effect um, right there and that's basically where it is right here now you should also be able to if I go ahead and place a keyframe right here and I'll go ahead and place a marker right here you should be able to just keyframe this right here so let's see if this works right here so I'll go ahead and let Final Cut um, render and then as you can see there you go so you see the uh, sensor effect moves so if you want to keyframe if the subject is moving it uh, if the subject is moving you can also keyframe but the name of the effect is called um, the sensor Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you're new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you enjoy these types of videos, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, the Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 270 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.